Hi guys. Hi guys, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. All right, we are going to be making a toothpick slash bobby pin holder, whatever you want to use it for. So just get your um, Tic Tac container ready. I'm using the Tic Tac gum container because I could not find for the life of me any regular Tic Tac containers. Um, so if you have the gum container, that's fine too. It works just fine. It has the same kind of opening as regular Tic Tacs do. So that'll work. No problem. Um, you will need your craft box as well. So all your different color washi tapes or your scrap of paper. Um, if you're using scrap of paper, you can get your scissors. Um, you can plug in your glue uh, to make sure that that's good to go. We will use that. Um, if you're using the washi tape, you might not use it, but uh, using the hot glue holds it better if it um, starts to peel off after a while. So I'm just gonna use the hot glue to keep it longer. All right. Um, if you want to, you could also use your um, acrylic paints and your paintbrushes as well. This is kind of, again, one of those crafts that you can kind of go many, many different ways, many different routes, however you want to go. So um, you can also, you know, decorate with buttons, you can decorate with ribbons, you can decorate it with twine, whatever it is that you want to do, grab those materials. We'll kind of go through this in a couple minutes. Like I said, I'm going to use washi tape for mine. Um, but you can use whatever you want. All right. So far, so good. All right. So it's not too big of a deal if you didn't wash it out. Um, I would just kind of make sure that there's no pieces of Tic Tac at the bottom of it. Uh, if you did wash it, that's great. I didn't wash mine. I have a couple pieces in there, so I'm just gonna pull them out. Um, just kind of wipe it out. If you have like a wet paper towel, you can also just wipe out the inside of it. It's not a big deal. Um, but again, it's not like it's like a liquid, so it's not gonna get gross on the bottom of it if you didn't wipe it out. All right, so um, you're, so we're gonna be making a toothpick slash bobby pin holder, whatever you wanna use it for. I'm probably gonna use it for bobby pins um, just because I always lose them all over the house. Um, but I know that there's some people that are making this crap that don't necessarily use bobby pins. So they might want to make a toothpick holder for uh, like parents to kind of carry around in a carry-on bag if they go out to eat whenever it is that we're allowed to do that again. Um, so you'll have that there and you can just kind of like have a toothpick to go. Either works great. Like I said, I'm using my washi tape for this. So I'm gonna decorate mine with washi tape and I'm gonna use the glue to kind of make sure that it's held longer. Because um, if you're throwing it in a purse um, and like it's getting moved around and you know, you're digging through your purse and stuff, like eventually the washi tape will kind of rip off if it doesn't have that extra uh, hold to it. So that's why I'm gonna use the glue as well today. So real super simple. If you're using the scrap of paper, you can kind of cut out the designs you want. If you wanna use the stripes, um, you're just gonna cut long thin strips and glue it onto the holder. I'm gonna use the washi tape because it's already in strips for me. Um, so I think I'm gonna do like a bunch of different heart designs. So maybe I'll use the heart, the hearts. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're going to take your washi tape and you're gonna rip off that end there. You wanna make sure it's like as flat as possible. So if you've been using it and ripping it, <clears throat> just take a pair of scissors and um, cut it in a straight line as far as you can as straight as you can. It's not a big deal if you don't have it super straight. Um, but it just kind of helps you when you're applying it on here. If it makes it easier for you, especially if you have the gum case like I do, you can pull the lid out 
it does pop back in. So it's not a big deal. Of course, I just threw this over here. Um, all right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of it. You're going to open it up a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to put some hot glue right on the holder itself. And that's when you're going to put the washi tape on top. It just gives it that extra hold because, um, like I said, constant, you know, shuffling around in a purse and stuff will – okay, so <laughs> I bought the Tic Tac gum so I could use this holder. <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> All right. Sorry, that was so bad. All right, anyway, um, you're just gonna like every couple of inches um, put another dot of hot glue. Like I said, you don't need to use a ton of it. Don't like lather it on because it'll, it won't dry very evenly. Just a small dot and I'll actually just do one for you so you can see just exactly what I'm looking for there. Can you see that? Yeah, just like a tiny, tiny dot. Every couple of inches. Just so that as you're going, you know that it'll hold a little bit longer than the tape will. Some washi tapes are stronger than others and, like, won't give up. Others um, peel off pretty quickly. So it's always good to be safe to just put a little bit of extra. Okay. Once you have that done, you're going to put a little dot of glue where it's kind of ending at, and then you're going to rip a straight line down the end. Um, it's best to use scissors to do it just because it makes those clean cut lines. Um, if you just rip it, that's fine too, but it's, you know, you might not see, like I just ripped mine and it's not a clear cut line if you're looking at it closely. Um, so if you want those clear cut lines, I would definitely use a pair of scissors for it. Okay. Um, it's completely up to you how you want to throw the design on. Um, I'm going to just do different kinds of washi tape the whole way down. It's also a cool idea if you just want to use one specific design. If you want to skip lines so you can kind of see what's inside. So if you skip it, just kind of like we did with the um, vase the other day, if you leave that clear piece open, you can kind of see and peer in what's inside. If you if you already know what's going to be inside and you don't care to see, um, you can just keep putting different strikes down, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do different designs down the whole thing. Okay. So again, I'm going to take my washi tape. I'm going to make sure it's like a straight, straight as I can line. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on there. Um, it's always good, too, to kind of start it on the same spot before. So if you're going right below it to put another stripe, I would go where you closed it off at and put that glue there so that it's, like, kind of consistent the whole way down and you're not seeing all these different patches um, where it's being closed up. So I'm just going to go right where, right underneath where I closed it last time. I need another glue stick. I'm just going to go right underneath it, and I'm going to put the washi tape there. Okay. You guys can kind of see that there. All right. So then every, again, like I said, every couple of inches, and it helps to kind of see where you put the glue last time to just throw a small dot down. And keep on going. It just holds it a little better. Just be careful of your fingers. Remember the tip of the hot glue gun is hot. Okay. All right. 
the nice thing when you guys like chose all of your favorite colors for the craft boxes is that um, you all have similar kind of shades of washi tape. So they all match with each other. So you can actually mix and match your rows here. And no matter what, they'll look good together, which is cool. Okay. And then I'm just gonna real quick close that off. Okay, and then I'm gonna take it and go that straight line down. Okay, so you guys can kind of see that it's already starting to look a little bit more decorated than just the clear container. Okay. I'm gonna go with this next. No, I think I'm gonna do hearts again. I'm gonna go back to the hearts. Okay, I'm gonna go my next row now. Small dot of glue. Put the end of the washi tape on. And then every couple inches, just throw a small dot on to see. Keep it. Okay. Like, ooh. We went flying. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to just put the three stripes on because I kind of want the bottom to be like blank or empty. Um, but you guys can do it however you want. I'm actually going to throw a button or two on as well to kind of give it that extra flair. Um, I know some of you have like a ton of craft supplies at home and um, I've been getting pictures. So you guys have been adding flowers to things. You have been adding rhinestones to things. Everything looks so cool. All things you guys have been making have been awesome. But this is kind of one of those projects again, if you have extra supplies lying around and you wanna add that little extra flair to it, you certainly can. Okay. If you're using a regular tic tac holder, you don't really have to deal with that because you're kind of working with a square. I'm working with a more curvy one, so I'm noticing that some of my tape is not laying very flat. You just lift it up and rework the tape if you have to. If you have those like indents, I don't know if you guys can see them, you just kind of lift the lift the tape and rework it if you have to. Not a big deal. Um, if you want to throw a little extra glue under there, you can. Um, but it should be good to hold pretty well. You guys can see that there. All right. Um, this part's up to you. If you like the white tops, um, I'm pretty sure for the most part, regular Tic Tacs and the Tic Tac gum containers and stuff um, all use the white top. You are more than welcome to acrylic paint this um, with whatever color you want if you wanted to kind of give it that different color on the top. Um, you can, if you have paint pens or Sharpie pens, you can, uh, you know, draw polka dots on it. You can draw the chevron shapes. I'm actually going to um, use my Sharpie to kind of show you what I'm looking, what I'm talking about when I'm saying chevron. Um, I'm gonna do chevron on the top here so that it has that little extra, cause I think it's a little too plain on the top. Mm -hmm. The Tic Tac gum containers have really big uh, lids, so it's very plain on the top, and I wanna add an extra flare. Okay, so I'm gonna use my paint pen. Um, you can use your Sharpie that came in your box. You can do whatever you want. I'm just gonna draw some zigzag. Chevron, whatever you want to call it. Just to add that extra design to it. If you want to use your acrylic paint and draw polka dots, you can do that. 
You can use your Sharpie pen to draw polka dots. Okay, so there's one saying when I say chevron, you can um, double up the layer there. Let me get a little bit thicker. You can just paint the whole top one solid color. You can paint flowers on it, you can paint different designs onto it. Um, just be careful, Sharpies are permanent markers, so just be careful of your clothes. Um, it will eventually come off of your hands, uh, but just avoid getting it on your hands if possible. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the rest of like polka dots up here. And just be careful if you're using a paint pen to not stick your hand in it like I just did. Um, the nice thing about plastic is that if you don't like the design and you're using a Sharpie, if you don't like the design and something got messed up, it will come off with nail polish remover. So if you make an error, just be super careful. If you have nail polish remover, you can actually get it to come off. So I'll kind of give you guys an example there. So I had a polka dot on the top here, and I just used a little bit of nail polish remover. It came right off. Okay. You guys can kind of see. Nail polish remover takes it right off. Okay. Just use a different, um, like a paper towel or something to kind of wipe it clean before you start painting again because the if there's still nail polish remover on the top, it'll still continue to kind of bleed and not look so nice. Okay. Um, so if you're using your Sharpie on here and you like don't like the design that you made, um, just ask your parent or guardian if they have nail polish remover and they'll take it right off. Okay. Fix that up again since I messed it up when I stuck my hand in it by accident. All right, so that's it. If you want to throw some sort of a label onto it, you um, can take a little piece of scrapbook paper and kind of put, like, make a little label for yourself, which is what I'm going to do next. Um, I said that I was going to make this for my bobby pins, so um, I'm going to just make a label that says bobby pins so that I know what it is later, even though my openings at the bottom. It's still nice to have labels on things. So I'm going to throw a little label on it. So all I'm going to do is take a piece of my scrapbook paper. This um, paper has these like pre, have these like squares on them already. You guys um, can cut out a square with your favorite design of scrapbook paper on there. And you can just make yourself a little bit of a label if you want to. It's completely up to you if you want to add a label. Since I've been using red and pink, I'm going to write in red. Okay. Mm, this one's kind of too big for this. Measure out your label ahead of time. <laughs> that label's a little too big. 
That's all right. Um, you really only need like a small, small, small piece of paper. You don't need anything too, too big. So I'm just gonna cut myself something really small that says, I'm just gonna write bobby pins on and I'll show you how to attach it. Okay. So I have these like funky scissors with the cool designs on them. I just cut something along the outside there. I'm just gonna write bobby pins on it. See, I just wrote bobby pins on it, and then I'm going to hot glue it right on to my container. Um, these are the perfect containers for like things like this, like toothpicks and bobby pins, because you know if you only need one, it has those little dispensers that you can take one out at a time, which I thought this was perfect for those things. Um, if I use bobby pins, I'm using like seven or eight, but you know, if you're using a toothpick, you're only typically using one. You're not using a ton of them. So you're just going to hot glue it right on there. If you want to, you can take some washi tape and put them on the outside. If you don't have like scissors that can make designs on the outside, um, you can take washi tape and kind of wrap it around the outside, but that's it. That's my label there. Can throw things in there, take it out. Um, so it's perfect for those things. If you are somebody that, you know, wants a storage container for your push pins or your paper clips or your buttons that came in your craft project, all of these things will fit nicely into one of these containers, um, the bigger gum ones. Um, If you have like a ton of like little things that need a place, like I know that I have a ton of earrings and I just always have those like little earring backs and I have like one little box that I keep all of the backs in just because they get lost and they fall off the earring and stuff. So you know that I always have backups there. This is a perfect container for something like that. Um, there's so many things that are small that you wanna kind of keep in one place. So this is perfect for that and you can decorate it any way you want. You have multiple containers you can you know use them for a bunch of different things i'm just going to um throw this in my linen closet my bathroom closet so that i have them and i can actually find bobby pins because they are always all over the house um and that's it that's how you do it again you can do whatever design that you want Feel free to send me pictures of whatever you guys create at rustacraftsandcalligraphy at gmail.com. I love seeing the things that you guys make. Um, it makes my day, so please send them over to me. And tomorrow we are going to be making a wreath. So you will need about seven to eight plastic grocery bags. So these bags. Okay. Um, any color that you want. If you have, um, you know, a ton of different colors, you can make them, we can make on a multicolor one. Um, they look nice as well if you just have one color. So if you only have um, white grocery bags, that's fine too. It'll look really cool. So um, I'm going to use all one color just because um, it'll make things easier when I'm showing you guys how to do it. But just seven, eight grocery bags and a wire hanger. So not one of those velvet hangers, and not, not a plastic one. You need something that's like wire or metal, a metal um, clothes hanger. So those are the two things that we'll need tomorrow besides scissors. And then I will see you back tomorrow at four o'clock. All right. Bye guys. Have a good night.